Ok, Assalamualaikum semua dan uh, selamat petang Jadi hari ini kita akan belajar macam mana kita, uh, kita akan buat satu tutorial We going to do a tutorial on how to place your design on the t-shirt The mock-up t-shirt Ok, since your your program, your event is about uh, t-shirt design So, uh, I think all of you have to participate or submit for the design yourself so you are required to do your own design uh, I won't show you how to create a design uh, because it's up to you to how, how you want to design your t-shirt it just that uh, in this video I will show you once you have your design how you want to place it uh, to a t-shirt uh, to create a mock-up mock-up t-shirt of your design okay so uh, first, uh, you need to have uh, images for uh, mockup design lah. Right, so I have provided to you uh, the the mockup image. So uh, this is a uh, uh, slightly entertaining t-shirt mockup. Alright, so I have provided to you a several image as you can see here i have a man uh, facing front uh, frontal uh, and this is a man uh, facing slightly uh, to towards uh, his i think left side and a girl uh, multiple girls and all okay so you can pick any so this image is created using uh, ai uh, image generated technology so uh, it's a uh, there's there's no copyright towards the image we can use it uh, so i just let's say i want to use this one uh, i think i choose this one uh, it's, it's easier okay and then create open all right so now we have uh we have the mocha image Wear for the t-shirt so uh, this man is wearing uh, wearing a white shirt for example so I won't uh, change the color of the shirt so let just let it be white uh, in case lah in case it's the design uh, it's, uh, you are doing a design for white shirt so just continue with this design and then also uh, another thing is you need to have a design design for your t-shirt so also i provide to with you uh, some of the design uh, also generated using ai technology let's say i just choose this uh, tiger ornament design here and then open it using open with adobe photoshop okay this is the design for example I'm just going to have to remove the background so I just double click uh, to unlock the layer and then I uh, use a wand tool to select the sorry magic wand tool to select all the white area and then I use I hit ctrl shift i to inverse the selection Okay, and then uh, I'm just gonna use V and bring these images, this ornament design, to the make mock-up images here and here. I can close it down. Uh, I won't say anything. So this is the ornament that I would like to put to the shape. Okay, and next we gonna resize it. I guess I'll hit Control T and then okay an older version of map of uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, in all older version of Adobe Photoshop if you want to resize uh, on proportionate scale you have to hold shift while drag uh, the corner of the of the design but then uh, in this uh, new version if you hold shift you cannot uh, risk it proportionate it will become like this this is what happened when you hold shift just undo 
but if you didn't hold shift just drag it will resize proportionately so it depends on your which vision you're using so you just uh, I'm gonna place somewhere here so now it's quite snapping so I just uh, want to off the snapping thingy uh, view uh, snap I just kind of off so I can place it uh, freely maybe slightly uh, okay let's say this is the design uh, and place it here and hit enter okay that's good enough so next thing that I want to do is I want uh, I want to to like uh, liquefy a little bit of the design so it will uh, somehow follow the folding of, of the t-shirt so I just gonna convert this to the uh, convert for smart filters I'm just gonna use this uh, layer let's say I just rename this layer uh, ornament or ornament uh, base okay I'm just gonna convert this uh, to smart filter smart object okay and you can see it shows uh, an icon something like this uh, it's meaning that these uh, layers have been converted into a smart object so I'm just gonna go to back to filter while selecting the layer and go to distort uh, where is it uh? Oh yeah, here liquefy. Okay, so this will bring uh, this window open. So let's uh, rescale. So make sure you tick the show backdrop. So you want because you want to see the the back layer, and then. Uh, Use uh, behind, okay, okay, and then we're gonna zoom in. We zoom in and drag. So you're gonna reduce the opacity a little bit. Uh, what happened eh? right so I'm not sure why the opacity didn't follow uh, let's say I cancel a bit I'm just gonna do it again uh, filter liquify and then just gonna use the background okay and then i can all right so i just uh, zoom in and i can uh, zoom in and zoom out but i mean i can change the opacity of the design uh, to see the wrinkle of the shades so i can i can follow i can liquefy the the objects in accordance to the to the wrinkle of the shades so i'm just gonna get my stylus and so just gonna hit on okay and then I'm just gonna liquefy a little bit so it will follow the fall of the just don't overdo just a little bit just to make it feel a little bit uh, blended into the design 
Okay, and then let's, let's see here. Just kind of. Okay, and just touch up here and there. here all right so we're just gonna increase the opacity to see and then we can see that is uh, yeah uh, I'm just gonna just gonna touch up a little bit this one is don't overdo just uh, simply here and there and you are good ok and then I'm just going to hit ok so uh now it's already fitted to the uh, to the the mock-up t-shirt but just uh, now you want to adjust uh, s the lighting of it uh, so it will f it feel more it feel uh, it, it blend uh, properly with the shirt okay so the first step that we want to do is uh, is to change the blur I mean if you can if you see here uh, the designs is a uh, look a little bit sharp compared to the images so we want to uh, make sure it's to blend we gonna add some blur to onto it so if you see here uh, if you zoom 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 in and you can see the shirt is a blur but the design is uh, somehow uh, quite sharp so what, what we need to do is we just gonna add some uh, blur just uh, filter blur uh, add some Gaussian blur so uh, we can uh, try to play around maybe around 0 0.5 uh, just to make sure the design and the t-shirts have a similar or almost similar blurriness okay maybe too much maybe a little bit 0 0.2 I think 0 0.3 seems blended in and just hit ok so if you zoom out now you can see it has the same uh, sharpness uh, all right so what we need to do next is to change uh, the lighting of the design so it follow the lighting of the subject so okay first uh, we want to uh, okay we're gonna just turn off this layer so I will just keep this layer as a backup and just I duplicate it uh, okay and then I'm just gonna use this as uh, rename this as uh, multiply Mul multiply works to for for the shadow just turn this on and I'm just gonna turn this off first to select the to select the the RGB of this layer just control key hit uh, press control and click on the RGB so it will select the the brightest area compared to the uh, darkest area and then you just uh, 
go back to the multiply and turn this on and hit uh mass this is a mass at layer mass so it will create uh it will if you can if you see that what happened is uh it masks the design so the brighter area show more compared to the uh, darker area but we don't want that we want to uh, the opposite of that so we just gonna click on the mask and click con uh, press control i so it so now it shows a darker area compared to the bright area okay so this uh, will be the shadow for the design okay so uh we want i'm sorry but before that we're just gonna choose this layer to the multiply to see a better view of it and then what we're gonna do is uh, select by still selecting the mask make sure you still select the mask go to filter uh, control layers i mean where is it uh, hold on all right um i think image oh no, sorry image adjustment and then curve okay so what we want to do is this is a layer where we just want to keep all the darker area so you just want to adjust the parameters here so that uh, the uh, the bright area completely gone uh, or not not really completely completely gone but slightly uh, gone so around here i just gonna just maybe something like this uh, something around like this okay yeah i think that's it's good and hit okay so somewhere around here okay so this is the dark area or the sh shadow area for the design so now let's work uh, for the uh, highlight area uh, but before that i think i want to uh, readjust the curve uh, just hit ctrl m and uh, see i'm just i think uh, let's go back just before we add the curve okay so ctrl m just wanna adjust it a bit yeah something like that and help okay so now uh we want to like uh adjust the color of the images so we just uh, gonna go to back to the base layer here and then control and click to create a selection within the design and then uh, here just click on the uh this button and go to hue and saturation then from this we can uh, change the color of the design so it will uh, it's uh, it's it plan better with the the color of the shirts uh, all right so we didn't have to do much since the t-shirt is already white just that it has a certain area that is a uh, hmm, yeah maybe something like this and okay so now let's work uh, on the highlights okay so it's simple for the now 
multiply is the where we look with the shadow we work with the shadow or darker area so uh, for highlight is the reverse or opposite of, of it we just have to duplicate this uh, ni, this layer just uh, select layer or and hit control J yeah control J uh, and then um, turn this uh, to screen okay so uh, as mentioned before the multiply area is for the darker area and then uh, this is the mask for the darker area and since we want to create a just rename this first we want to create a mask for the for the highlight which is the brighter area you just uh, select the mask and uh, I control I to inverse the inverse the mask okay so if as soon as you did that you can see uh, the designs already uh, somehow appear on the shirt now if you if you look at the design it's already have a shape of the the shadow and the highlight so we already have the base design it's so now it's just a matter of uh, tweaking and uh, edit uh, adding uh, more layers to 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 increase the definition of the design uh, for example if uh, this design uh, looks uh, too too thin it has a uh, definition is too low we're just gonna duplicate the uh, multiple design hit uh, layers sorry multiple layer and control J so it brings uh, the design and and maybe you can also do to get screen so it create something like this uh, also maybe you can uh, hold on I just gonna control Z as for the multiply layer uh, I'm just gonna uh, tweak the curve for example something like this okay Or maybe I just gonna undo the the duplicate. I just gonna uh, delete it, and uh, I'm just gonna duplicate the base. Of duplicate it, and put on top of uh, just below the on multiply layer, and on activate it, and maybe I reduce the opacity of it something like this so you can see the design is already blended in you can play around with the opacity maybe around uh, 70 yeah and then if you want to add uh, more shadow just multiply this the copy the multiply layer and then you can see uh, it, it's getting darker and maybe maybe you want to add some you can also copy the screen and and then you can uh, edit the curve so you can see something like that oh and then you can try turn on and turn off to see whether it really necessary to add another layer uh, so it's up to you I'm just gonna delete it. I think it's unnecessary. So yeah, I have a multiple. I'm just gonna delete here. Yes, and then I do need the multiply. Okay. Maybe if it's too, you want the colors to become more vibrant. Uh, vibrant. I mean, just uh, control and click on the ornament base, and yeah, and then bring 
up here and create a hue and saturation layer so we can tweak so it become more vibrance and yeah I think that's about it so now we have our t-shirt de design uh, blended into the mock-up images so it's uh, best to portray the design of your t-shirt so, and also it also have have all the details such as the shadow and the highlights and it looks all like the design is printed onto the t-shirt okay maybe I can uh, I want to tweak a bit just gonna uh, raise the, the yeah this one just gonna reduce the opacity maybe around 60 yeah that looks better yeah. right so that's it so what uh, you need to do now is you can carry on with your own uh, exercise you can uh, use uh, the provided file that I've, I mean the file that I've, I've provided or maybe you want to use some other design that you want to find on the internet so it's up to you so I hope you understand and enjoy my tutorial and uh, see you next week and good luck okay thank you